Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Welcome to Rick's Corner. I was watching uh, my computer today and I was looking at an ad that they had on Shark Tank about these women that came on, they lost like a hundred pounds and they got some fat to real skinny based on a keto pill they had called Keto. Um, I read it, I read the whole article and basically these things to me are all a scam. I don't see any difference in what they're saying to what we did for the past 50 years in bodybuilding. They, uh, there's a lot of products out, and I've said this once before, with the Atkins diet, the Beverly Hills diet, the Keto diet, the uh, paleo, paleo diet and all that, but it's all the same thing because even on the pills that they just sold to Shark Tank, and apparently Shark Tank got all excited to put a lot of money into pushing this product, it's no, no different than what we do and we've been doing in bodybuilding since the 40s, and I've said this once before. It even says on the uh, description of the bottle, take these like one or two to three times a day. They curb your appetite <laughs> and increase your protein, your fats, and cut your carbs. Well, we know that this works. It doesn't take a rocket science to figure this out. It doesn't take all these companies that are chemistry and um, uh, driven and big companies to say, now we found the solution to how to lose weight. We knew the solution back in the 40s when bodybuilders were on Santa Monica Beach because this is what they did. They had high protein, some fats for energy, and they cut the carbs. It even says on this pill bottle that fats are used as energy and they're not stored as fat, and carbohydrates are stored as fat. There's nothing new here, and they charge you a lot of money. They say, we'll send you a free bottle. All right, so you ask for the free bottle, they ask for your credit card number, and then they start billing you monthly. I'm sure you've seen these things before. So don't fall into that scam because it's, it, it's just a scam as far as I can see. I have watched my diet for the past month or two and <laughs> some woman I know at the restaurant goes, she says, you look, you look uh, thin. I said, well, you don't want to tell a bodybuilder he looks thin. You say, you look lean. I've leaned out. I have. I've cut my food intake down because... Uh, I just haven't felt great. I've had this leg thing that's been bothering me and medications I take for that have curbed my appetite. <laughs> they curbed my appetite. And so when I eat, I don't eat as much. I just don't feel like eating. Although I still train every day. So now once I start to increase my protein a little bit and I start eating a little bit more calories, I'll gain some size back. I really don't care right now. It's not my aim. I've been there and done that. I don't have to prove anything. But people look at you and they see a change. They say, why'd you lose weight? I, I just haven't felt like eating. You know, I haven't felt like eating that much. But I'll gain it back. And then other people have asked me that wrote in, they said, hey, can you draw the Gold's Gym logo on camera for us? And I said, yeah, I can do that. If you can get a view of it, I don't know if you'll be able to see what I do, but I'll do the best I can. All right, so I'm gonna draw it now for you. I always like to start with the head. And then I can put it in the mouth, nose, the eyebrows. The eyes and there I got that. Then I bring down the neck, put on the traps, now the delts nice and round. The little striations that go up, you have to have those. If you look at the body there's little dips here and there. And then you bring in the tries and then the bicep. Now every muscle has a little bit of a shape and has a little bit of a cut, so you have to have that put in there as well. Then I bring in the pecs and connect them. Then you have the striations in the pecs. Okay, now you have the diaphragm, it goes underneath the chest, and then you come down and then you'll have the abs. I'm doing this kind of fast, but at least you'll see how I do it. Then you bring in the forearms and the hands. 
and the hands are in a gripping position. I've done so many of these lately, you have no idea. I do sell a lot of them, and they're fun to do. Then you put the trunks in. These are posing trunks that we used to wear back in the day. And then you do the quads, and the quads also have to be cut and separated so that you have that separation of cuts within the quads. And then the knee. And then you come down the shin, into the foot, into the toes. And remember, this is a cartoon version. The foot, the heel. And then you come down and put a calf in, nice round one, where it connects to the heel. You got that leg done. Then you do the same thing here on this side. Another calf. Insertion at the heel. And then the foot. Okay. Then, in order to get a nice square line on the bar, I like to use a triangle. At least I know my line will be straight. But then my, otherwise it might be zigzag all over the place. Bend the bar a little bit at the end. Okay, at this point, oh, I gotta put the lats. The lats go right there. That way we have that in there as well. Color the trunks in. Make this line a little bit more definite. Okay, then we're gonna do the, uh, the weights. I can do any amount on here, but I always felt like three was probably the best. mistake right there. Um, I have a little carpal tunnel in my hands so my fingers are kind of numb lately so I have to <laughs> it's hell getting older <laughs> you know you, you have little ailments that come about and you just have to deal with them I do one more plate It doesn't have to be exact in cartoons. We just have to imp imply that this is what we have. I have the original shirt that I did for Golds framed in my office with my signature and um, it still has some stains on it from sweating in the gym and I think I might have spilled some protein on it. <laughs> if you want to order one of these you can do that on my website and I'll autograph it to you and send it out. It's uh, 75 plus $5 shipping and you'll have your own personal Golds Gym logo by me. A lot of people do that and they frame them and put them in their office or their gym or their den or wherever they want to display something. Okay, so that's pretty much the weights. That's the guy. Here's my signature. And there we have it. And that is the logo that I did for Gold's Gym. So if you want to order one, you can. Be nice. Nice little gift. 
Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, I told you what I feel about the keto diet. He's on it. But my God, it, uh, it's, it's funny how people take credit for something that the bodybuilders came ahead, way ahead with back in the day. They knew how to train, they knew how to eat, and they put it all together and they had great bodies because of it. There's no special deal. Today's old society just thinks it's something that you really have to be scientific about and um, it's not the case at all. Thank you for watching Rick's Corner and we'll see you all next time. Stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code DRAYSON12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrazen.com, and order there. You can pay through PayPal, and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.